Well, hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. I'm Fiona Lang Sharp, IBCLC Director of Communications and MC here at Gold Learning. Well, I'm excited uh, to be here with all of you again because we are talking about our upcoming Gold Lactation Conference. And it is right around the corner. April 4th is our opening keynote. Now, if you'd like to come and join us for that day, that would be fabulous. It's a free <coughs> presentation and it is available to everybody. You can register online today at goldlactation.com and that will give you free access to that presentation. Now you can come listen live um, and you can also, of course, listen to the recordings. Lots of opportunity here, lots of learning that's going to be happening as well. And as you can see, I have two very special guests with me here today. We've got Dipti Shaw and Ruth Patterson, who are joining us here today. And we're going to get to know them a little bit more, learn about where they are in the world and what they do. And of course, we'll be talking um, about the topic um, that they are going to be presenting at our Gold Lactation Conference. So again, you can go to the website at goldlactation.com and check out all the information um, after you've heard us chat through today. So welcome to both of you. It is so good to have you here today. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Fiona. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Fiona. Love to yeah. be there. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I, I have so enjoyed our time together. So far, we've been having um, a great time getting set up and ready for that live day. And I know we are anticipating that we'll have a fabulous audience again, as we do every year, it seems. But more importantly, we have people that are ready um, to learn more and to share their experience. So um, I'm going to invite both of you now. Uh, perhaps we'll start with Dipti. If you could uh, introduce yourself to the audience, tell them yes. about yourself and tell them where you are in the world and what you do. Okay. Thank you so much, Fiona, for the nice uh, introduction. And my name is Dipti Shah. And I have about my education is I've done my BSc in food technology and I've done my specialized in dairy industry. And then I became an IBCLC. And uh, as a mother, so I have one son and uh, I exclusive breastfeed my son for six months and then continued for two years and beyond. And uh, as a trainer, uh, you know, I'm in, into the training since last 25 years now. So now uh, I have trained multiple TOTs in one day sensitization, three days sensitization. And then I'm training to a grassroots level worker also and in a medical college also. And about my administrative experience is I'm working with one NGO that is a BPNI Maharashtra. And it's an NGO based at Mumbai. So we do a lot of funding. We take a lot of funding from UNICEF and WHO and, you know, uh, and the other uh, and, uh, NGOs. And then uh, we take a lot of training in Mumbai and uh, Maharashtra area. So I'm doing the administrative work for that NGO also. So I'm working at corporate hospital also, institutional private hospital also, institutional uh, government hospital also. This is about me. And uh, as far as concerned to, you know, how I enjoy my work. So I always feel the happiness when I see the happiness on the mother's face. I feel great. I feel my mother and my baby is doing well. And, you know, I, will, I would like to share one of my small story. Like when I, when I was a mother, so basically I am a dairy specialist. I was working with an ice cream factory. But when I gave my birth to the child and my pediatrician motivated me to do the exclusive breastfeeding and I did that and then I feel, no, now I don't want to work anymore with the dairy industry. I want to work with the mother's milk. And that is how I joined and that is how I'm enjoying my work. And I see a lot of mothers with the happiness in their faces. And you know, the practice, what you preach is a challenge, you know, you have knowledge, but actually when you implement the knowledge, it's the biggest important thing I 
Thank you. Oh, I, I love your story, Dipti. Uh, that really, I mean, the connection uh, with your son and working in the dairy yeah. industry and then working in the human milk industry um, yeah. is just fabulous. Um, and I know that uh, when you have that personal experience, I know that your passion is so deep that you're sharing it with your, uh, with your students and with your colleagues um, yes. that you're working with. So that is absolutely fabulous. Well, let's hear from Ruth now. And uh, Ruth, could you please also introduce yourself? Tell us where you are in the world and what you do. Uh, yes, Fiona. I'm Ruth Patterson. I'm proud to be here in the Gold Conference as a speaker. I love this. And um, basically, I'm a nurse. I've been in this field for uh, 32 years. And I have uh, gone through a lot of phases, a lot of challenges in my uh, career, but then past 22 years, I have more focused on the supporting mother and baby. I enjoyed working with this and I am, uh, my main focus is uh, the, always I tell my students, my main focus is train the nurses. Being a nurse, how I motivated to take care of mother and baby, the same way I want my team to take care of mother and baby who's having a 24 hours job in the bedside work. Mm -hmm. So that's my main agenda to train all the nurses level one, level two, level three to promote and take care of the mother and the baby. So always I tell them in a cricket match, when you hit the first ball boundary, wow, that is an awesome uh, happiness that allows you to motivate till the last innings to stay back and win the century. Mm. So the same way I tell them, you are uh, hitting the first ball out of the boundary when the baby is born in labor room or in the operation theater, you are the first person to receive the baby and make sure the mother gives the breastfeed as early as possible, hit the stone there so that the child and the mother will be able to continue the journey for a long term of breastfeeding. That's my, uh, no, uh, my motive, my agenda. Till today, I've been motivating nurses to do that. And uh, I am mother of three children. I have a elder daughter who got married recently, six months oh. ago. And uh, my other two children, one is in the college, one is in the school. And I have a husband who is a director for NGO. And as a family, we enjoy adventure trip. <laughs> we don't leave any single day as a leave. And we start in the night itself, we start planning the trip and we start moving the start. So we love all my three children, my husband and myself, we love adventure trip. Wherever we love to go and put the tent and explore the wild and anywhere. Yeah, wow. that was our uh, yeah uh, enjoyment after the work. We enjoy doing that. And uh, I appreciate my husband who's, who's very much adventure so he made us everyone adventure in this process yeah and then I see in my life enjoyment is to seeing a mother who's unable to breastfeed or mm -hmm. though she is feeding and she's having tears in her eyes my baby is crying I'm having pain whether I have a milk whether I know how to feed that pain when I go and assist them very simple technique of position and attachment. And the mother does not feel pain and the baby starts suckling and baby is satisfied after the feed. Once you see mother's face, wow, that is the enjoyment I enjoy. I you know, enjoy the mother's feeling after she successfully breastfeed. That is my enjoyment. And uh, this presentation mainly I love because I have been uh, planned new strategies to uh, achieve 100% breastfeeding support. So looking at this presentation, it would help any private setup to attain 100% support on breastfeeding. That is my motivation, not only for Cloud9 Hospital, we have 24 hospitals. The same what I start in Jainagar and Bangalore, I start everywhere as a pan-India. 
So that's where I, we have 24 LCs all around Pan India Cloud9. And all of us, we join together when we implement things when there is really required. So like that, we all join together, work towards the mother and the baby. I enjoy doing this. I enjoy. Yes. Oh, I, I love your story too, Ruth. It's just yes. wonderful to hear about your, your family and what you're passionate about. And I know you have immense, both of you have such immense experience. Um, but I know that part of your experience also lends to, you know, the work that you have advocated for, for families um, for a long time. And when we were talking offline, it reminded me again that I really wanted to come and visit you and, you know, and, wow. and take this all in because it's just contagious. I mean, you know, because of your joy, but also your passion and the skill that you have put in place um, you know, in your work settings. And I know that that is part of our, you know, our topic that we're going to be, uh, you're going to be sharing on, which the, again, the, the topic title for your presentation is strategies to improve infant feeding practices and indicators in a private corporate maternity setup. So, and what I heard you say is, you know, this can be done. It is possible to continue to improve the care and practices that we have in place. Um, there is always another person that we can reach, you know, amongst our colleagues. I feel that we can share this message, um, get the right information. I feel that sometimes not everybody is, um, it's not really even education, but they haven't really um, bought into the process that maybe they don't ha haven't had that personal experience. They don't have the same passion. But once they get the message, once they understand the long term benefits and how, you know, early breastfeeding changes things long term, um, you know, like it's the trajectory of care that can just, you know, as soon as you take care of a mother in the immediate postpartum, um, it sort of transcends into her future, that baby's future, that mother's future. And I feel that that's what you have invested in. You have invested in this very important time. Um, so thank you. Uh, Dipti, anything you'd like to add about the presentation and, and you know, what, you, what you're looking forward to sharing? So about the about presentation is, as you said, that strategy to improve the breastfeeding practices. So basically, uh, see, in India, we have a very few uh, places where we have a lactation consultant because people are not aware about that skilled staff is available, you know. So we will start our presentation with, uh, you know, how to uh, create the importance of lactation consultant or a skilled staff in any maternity yeah. setup. And then how to convince the maternity owner that there is a need of lactation consultant. And then once they appoint, then how you will implement the different strategy so that you can get the best result. Because, you know, people always feel that, you know, uh, as a lactation consultant, we have to work only in the maternity, only in the postnatal ward. It's not limited to postnatal ward. We have different, different areas where we have to work, you know, uh, so that we are going to discuss the uh, different areas so that we get, a, you know, uh, when we work a small, if you are missing something, we are not going to get the result. But if you take a small, small area and you gather everything together, then you get the results. Similarly, we are going to show you some different strategy. So we are going, we are working as a postnatal ward also. We will work in the OT also. We will work in the labor room also. We are in the training also. We have to train the people also. We have to advocate the people also. So where we can work, how we can do best, that is what we are going to discuss in our presentation. And also, once you implement the strategy, whether this strategy is working well or not, that monitoring also very important. If that strategy is not working well, then we need to change the strategy so right. that we get the better result. So that is what we are going to discuss in our presentation. Great. That is fabulous. Well, I'm looking forward to that. I think that there's always, um, every time we look at a situation like this, there's always things that we can learn from each other as colleagues and, yes. and work together to improve things. So, um, and things change. That's, that's the, yes. the momentum of our wards, our hospitals, 
our private sector, always policies and practices are changing. Um, we are going to we're going to wrap things up now because I know uh, you have spent such a generous amount of time with us here today. And thank you. I appreciate your time. And and I know that um, our audience is going to just love coming in to uh, to listen to you. Uh, Ruth, did you have any closing words that you would like to say to our audience today? Yeah, I uh, my I really love to be in this conference, especially I love to share my experience, what I have come out to develop strategy plan for the to improvement for the breastfeeding rates and support the mother and the mm. baby and the couples. The same thing, uh, I, I'm sure uh, it is in India, we have a challenges. I'm sure all your places may be a different way of uh, the consultations of the counselors are taking right. it in different approach. Yes. But in being in India, living in city, I found a lot of challenges, but then I enjoy developing strategies and improving and making sure it is happening and the mothers and the babies are supported. So I wish all our um, audience here I wish all the best. I am sure all of you will be motivated some or other way, some point which we have discussed here. I'm sure you will be able to uh, go through high miles to support our uh, mother and the baby. Thank you so much for listening to the uh, presentation. Thanks a lot. Oh, thank you, Ruth. Yes. Thank you so much. And thank you, Dipti. It's so good to have you here. And again, uh, your presentation is titled Strategies to Improve Infant Feeding Practices and Indicators in a Private and Corporate Maternity Setup. We'll look forward to having you both back here very soon. And for all of you listening in right now, don't forget to go to the website right now at goldlactation.com. You can find out more about this presentation and all of our other presenters are gonna be here with us this year. And I can't look, I'm just looking forward to seeing all of you online and I just can't wait. Thank you again and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye for now, everyone.